guys and welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another manga read-through. Um, I'm trying to do the manga read-throughs at least once a week because of my time, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, also before I do start reading, I do plan on covering the cover stories, but I'll probably go through them um, like in a group of cover stories at a time. Um, thanks to Seth, he kind of compiled all of them for me. So once I, you know, kind of get to the point where I am in the anime with the manga, that's probably when I'll start, um, you know, do sidebars of the actual um, cover stories. So yeah, just want to keep you guys up with that. So without further ado, let us go ahead and jump into some more reading. Let's go. All right, we last left off on chapter 913, and we're going to go ahead and just start reading. All right, I would advise you not to sightsee here. Are you aware of who controls this country from the shadows? Nope, don't know. It's Kaido, and I'm here to whoop that emperor of the sea. Shut up, Luffy, Kinemon said. We're not supposed to know that. I was just kidding. I don't know who. Grrr. <sighs> the cards say your probability of being alive one month from now is 19%. Hawkins, I don't like him. I just seen that last episode. He can get on my nerves. Anyways, Zoro's looking in deep thought. Hmm. Say, where'd you get that sword, huh? Hmm. It's a very good blade, right? Uh, exactly. It seems like a famous one, so let me... Get him! Yeah, bring it on! Wait! No, let me see it! It's not like you even know how to use a... Don't throw the scabbard! Yes, I do. I'll slice and dice these fools fairly. Gomu Gomu! Pistol! <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm just envisioning this part in the anime. A gun is not a sword. Whoa! Even the lizard is trying to get me. Skank! Gurun! Toop! Well, chop on this! <laughs> Lumi! Lumi over here! Lumi over here! You're at this part! Covering the thing! Oh, lizard have all! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> he punches him in the face. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh, I hate this part. Straw sword. Yow! Dos. Shoot. Shrunk. What's up with that sword? Now I feel sorry for that lizard. <laughs> How do you punch the lights out? Now you go feel sorry for the damn lizard. <laughs> okay, Luffy. Ah! Zoro over here slicing up folks as per usual. Zoro's looking. Swip. Oh, yeah. This is where he cuts Hawkins. He's slicing him in his face. Got him already. Mmm. Thud, huh? Very impressive. What the? Minus one life. Oh, that little creepy, um, straw puppet thing is coming out of his arm. Oh my Jesus. And he falls, and the other guy falls with him. <laughs> okay. What did you just do? My straw man is a stand-in for my followers' lives. With my straw straw powers, I infuse my body with my subordinate spirits so that no damage reaches me. When I have ten infused, I can die ten times. Okay, I have a real good question then. I don't know if I probably missed something or maybe uh, I wasn't paying attention because sometimes things kind of go over my head when I'm watching. Um, Flippin' is Hawkins 
able to create as many spirits in his body at one time or is there a limit because when you think about it if he can go through a hundred people and be like oh your spirit's mine your spirit's mine your spirit's mine and he just infused with a hundred god dang on people at one time wouldn't that be kind of like op for real like he will just never die or how how does that work if i miss something please guys let me know all right back to reading now let us begin a game of straw man cards. <laughs> Zoro's like, huh? Yeah, he know. Well, he probably don't know, but this is not Zoro's thing. He don't be playing games like that. Doom. Now that I am not so forthright as to battle two of my fellow worst generation members in a fair fight. Whoa! Something just came out of the sword. This guy's more trouble than he looks, but I should have figured. Okay, so we're looking that damn old sword. I don't remember seeing him lick the sword before. Ooh. <laughs> there you go, movie. Game. Let us begin. The full reversed. Blast it. This is the card of infighting. Take that. Ah. I'm sorry. I will draw a good card next round. Despite the inherent risk. There are also cards that expand one's power beyond its natural limits. What the heck are they doing? Woof, woof. Duh. <laughs> Look at Zoro. Zoro's looking like, what the hell is going on? Hey, what's the big idea, dog? The dog said, Look, we got to go. Y'all taking too much time. We got time off our bag. We has to go. Hawkins, they're running away. Do not panic. I've just drawn a good card. Yikes! Thomas burning up! <gasps> I guess that's why the dog was rushing us. <sighs> the card of pursuit. Kyo, kyo, kyo. Whoa! He's catching up! The Hierophant reversed. Swish, swish. Kyo, kyo, kyo. Protect the kid. I'll handle him. Oof. Where's the power coming from? This is okay. This is where Zoro is putting up the fight with um, the straw hat demon thing. Tower climb! Wah! Nails! And here he goes. He's protecting Taba and Lobe! <gasps> Rah! Zoro! Yeah, he's slicing that dang old straw thing demon. All right, enough of this. Nikiri, ripple. Oh, I love that. I love that. When he was slicing the straw hat, I like how they did this in, even on um, the manga. It's very detailed. Even though it's in black and white, you still see a lot of what's going on. He sliced the whole, um, like this part of the straw hat demon man, just clean off. Cow. Gah. That's what do that's the lies. I would hate I would not ever, ever, ever wanna be a part of Hawkins like crudies, cause then you're gonna use my spear. So if you get hit, which when you think about it, y'all, Hawkins has never, ever, when he knows he has spirits like within him, he doesn't put much up of a fight. So when you think about it, it's like, oh, I'm gonna let you borrow my spirit. But you gonna just sit here and let people slice you up and not give a care? Oh, you don't care about me, fool. I ain't gonna be with you. That's how I would be like. But these folks, oh my gosh, no. Sh sh shall we go after them, Hawkins? Hell, I'm sorry. It <laughs> I don't want no fights of Hawkins at all. The Hierophant. I've drawn a card of reinforcements. Someone will lead them to a clean escape. Why? What mighty samurai you two are. What? Who are you? You defeated that dreadful Hawkins. Oh my gosh, that fight ended so freaking quick. Yo, this fight ended quick here. In the freaking anime, it was like going on and on. Now, I don't mind so much of the fight going on and on in the anime, but to see how quickly it went from, um, damn it, uh, just well, how many what one two what one page two 
I mean, there's a fight, but to me, like just reading it, it went a, it went by a lot quicker. But the anime did a good job to keep us um, kind of in tuned, especially with the animation. It, it was really good. But that is pretty quick how everything just went. Oh, he sliced him. It wasn't so much of a back and forth. Like in the anime, there's a whole bunch of back and forth. But here, it's we see the nails like flying out of his mouth. Okay. But then, you know, it's like a little bit defending. And then Zoro just completely just slice him. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right, next. I am the woman you saved earlier, Green One. My name is Suru, tea house owner of Suru. You've been hiding in the tail this whole time? If you'll forgive my asking, is that child Otama from Am Amigasa village? You know her? So, she has been drinking from the river. In that case, forget the doctor. Take her to my house. Well, take her to my tea house. <laughs> Look at Zoro getting all mad. You know what? Seeing Zoro's face like this is kind of heartwarming a bit because we always see Zoro as a stern, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a care on Zoro type of attitude. But in certain cases, we can see a little bit of caring coming out of him. Of course, he cares about Luffy and the straw hats, but for other people, you can see he actually cares. Like when he got the um, the little girl brought him the onigiri rice balls, like in the beginning of the chapters, and um, we first started One Piece the manga, and how thoughtful he was. Even in the first episode, he was when kids came to him and was like, you know, being nice, he was nice back. He might have sounded kind of hostile, but deep down, he has a heart. All right, anyways. This is no time for sipping tea, lady. I don't even know who this kid is, but she's... Oh, but it is. The best course of action is to give her tea mixed with a special herb. That will counteract the river's poison. I will show you the way. Please, allow me to return the favor. I can tend to the green gentleman's wounds, too. Okay, we'd appreciate the help. Thanks. Okobore, the town of leftover scraps, Kuri. I'm just saying, you can't pay the protection tax, right? So I'm willing to help you out with that. Come on, Okiku. All you have to do is be my wife, and you'll never have to work again. You can eat all the fresh, clean food from the farm you want every day. I am too far below your social standing. Now, if you're not ordering, would you please take your leave? I don't want none of your food. Who wants dumplings and tea made from leftover scraps? Don't you know who I am? I am a famous Yokozuna in the big city. Tea House Waitress Okike. I'm Urashima, the greatest sumo wrestler in Wano. Okiku! Oh, Otsuru! Damn it. Brew up some of the evil purging herbs. Otama drank from the poisoned river. Oh no, I'll get right to it. Atop a mountain. You know I'm right. Is the straw hats? Should we go get them before trouble starts? You're gonna stick out if you do, Beppo. Next chapter. Chapter 914. Oh, I definitely want to read this. Why does it look like in this cover? Chapter, okay. Is that supposed to be Shanks? Who is that supposed to be? Okobore Town Kuriwano. Mm. Hey, I'm all better now. Wow, I really appreciate it. That works suspiciously fast. Well, the evil purging herb is a very effective medicine, but it hasn't completely removed the poison from your body, so you mustn't drink the river water any more, Otama. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Oh, poor girl is still flipping hungry. I remember this part. A warrior shame! A warrior shame! I need water! The river! Now you wait just one moment, Otama! There, all done. It's only a crude measure, however. Yeah, thanks. Dang, you're huge. Big Mama was warrior bigger. Thank you for helping me. That sumo wrestler earlier was attempting to court me. Forgive me for not introducing myself earlier. This one's name is Okiku. This one? Why is she saying this one? 
Why are you saying, oh, my name is? Like, oh, Sue was saying it. Anyways. Nope, nope, nope. I can't do it. Please, ma'am. You gotta take it away. I can't even pay for the medicine. There's no way I can afford this nice Oshiruko. I don't want your money, silly. Eat up. The sweet bean porridge will make you feel better. I, I can't. I know that you and Okiku haven't had anything good to eat either. I can't accept your food after you already saved my life. I just can't do it. I promise I'll pay for the herbs. Silence! What kind of woman sets out food for a hungry person and then takes no thanks? I'm not hungry for an answer. If you don't eat this, I'm just going to dump it on the side of the road. Please, Otama, just just eat one. Once Osuru makes an offer, she refuses to take no for an answer. How long are you going to sit there just holding it? Lucky you, right? And it's your birthday, too. Is that true? That's what I heard. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just looking at the uh, the 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 pictures and seeing her and looking at the art style. It's it's very like reminiscent of watching the episode. So I'm kind of like picturing the manga and then looking back at the episode, and it's really a good comparison. Okay, so we see her with her little porridge, splish, and you can just see her just stuffing it in her mouth and her eyes are watering. It's so freaking cute! And then here she goes. <clears throat> it's so good! I never knew food could be this good. Oh, Zara looking like a proud uncle, like, it is, ain't it? <laughs> You've never had that stuff before? Never. She weaves hats day in and out and gets the occasional meal of crud, a crude millet at best. It even has mochi inside. What an extra extravagant food. I'm not worthy. I'll never have such a nice birthday again. Sorry, master. Mochi, mochi. Can't you make those dumplings from your cheeks? Those don't fill my stomach. <laughs> oh, Suru's sad. And here's Okiko. Oh, Suru. Today is the bestest day ever. Oh, I can't take the cuteness. And just think how much she has been, like, trying to curb her appetite this whole time. That is sad. And she's so young. There are children just like her all over Wano. Poor little kids like her are unable to eat a decent meal. At least when you're a grown up, you can handle eating poison. Um, no, you can't. <laughs> what the heck? When he said that in the anime, I was like, who, who, why? No, we don't. You're not normal. That's why I'm like, you can do it. You and Zoro or Zolo. But between the sea and mountains and forests, you should be able to get all the food you need. If only we don't ruin them ourselves. Yes. You boys are very nice. What are your names? I'm Zoro Juro. I'm a Roni. I'm Monkey D. He's Luffy Taro. <laughs> Luffy is so proud of himself. He just totally just... just Negated from the fact that Kenmon said, keep your profile low. He must say, I'm monkey D. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all love him. Uh, yeah, what he said. Luffy Taro, thoroughly. <laughs> You're from across the sea, aren't you? You speak strangely. I'm impressed that you got into the country. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to tell anyone. How does she know? I'm new to this town, as it happens. Okiku's only been at my place for a month. You said this is the town of leftover scraps. What's with the name? It's quite literal. Everyone in Okobore town hopes to live off the scraps from the nearby, the nearby town of government officials. Tama said there was a place somewhere that had food without poison. Do you see that mountain without the smokestacks? At the peak, there once stood a building by the name of Odin Castle. That 
was 20 years ago, however. That's when my red flags was going up, because it's like, how? How can it have been 20 years ago when we were talking to um, Momo and, and Kinemon and them, and they said it, it, was, it was still fresh? It was, it, no, no, no way. And they made, it was a recent feeling. Odin Castle? Odin, I know I've heard that name, but where? Until 20 years ago, the land of Wano had long been ruled by a family called the Kozuki clan. There's a large farm at the foot of the mountain that the late Lord Odin created to feed the people of pretty good healthy food. Let me tell you, he did not create Paradise Farm just so that Orochi and his minions could hold this country's food under their thumb. Is that where all the non-poison food is? It is safe tasty crops and ingredients, and clean water and clothes, and it all belongs to Shogun Orochi. Beyond the giant Tori gate is the town where the officials dwell. We live off the scraps they no longer need, and the rotting food that they sell to us. So that's why it's Okebore, the town of leftover scraps. We get by, it's the bare minimum we need to survive. So, oh, Soro coming in, protecting Otsuru from that freaking um, arrow that the bat dude, or Batman, whatever his name is, came in. Who's there? Kiki, kiki, kiki. Were you bad-mouthing the Shogun? I heard you, woman. <laughs> Gifters Batman, bat smile fruit. Yo, he looks very, very... <sighs> <sighs> Lord Jesus, but he looks exactly like he did in the anime, so okay. <clears throat> My hearing is six times as powerful as all, oh, as a human's. It's a gifter. Fine, so you heard it. Is that a reason to take her life? She would have died if it had hit her. Oh, Sudu, it's good that you're safe. As long as you live clean and smart, you won't get in trouble. But if there's one thing Lord Orochi doesn't suffer, it's rebellious ideas. You'd better watch your back. We're on the search for thieves at the moment. Food's been stolen from the farm over the, uh, from the farm over the last few weeks. That wouldn't be you, Ronin, would it? Who are you? You blocked all my arrows. Yo, Zoro did go in, like, he's blocking everything. No, wait. A one-eyed Roni? I've seen your likeness on the town notice boards. Ah, who the heck are you? Huh? Tama! Well, that's when she was stolen. Ah, help me, big bro! Ho, ho, ho. I'm uncatchable. I run 200 kilometers an hour. I'm getting kidnapped! The gazelle man. He got those <laughs> stockings off, and he got the garter things to go on it. He looks just like he did. Well, no, he doesn't. He looks kind of different. His neck looks a little bit thicker here. Snag! Woo woo! Oh, Tama! No, he's too fast! Take me to her, Kumainu. Woo! She just took a katana. She said she can use a sword, but I've never seen it myself. Wait, dog. Take me with you. Hey, me too. Ah, did his arm just... Luffy Taro. Solo Juro. Why are they going after the kid? It's not clear, but we have to get her back. Kiki, kiki, kiki. So we see the Batman continuously shooting the arrows. Um, see Komachio running away with the guys on the back and Okiku. And they say, okay. Kyai ah. And they're just being pummeled by arrows. Next is our man Zoro. They've totally planned this abduction. It seems clear that the destination is the official's town. 
There are three headliners in that area now. Hawkins, Hold'em, and Speed. And roughly 30 warriors with powers gained through mysterious artificial fruit. Is that a notebook? Who are you? Now, when she brought out this um, notebook, you can tell she has been probably just laying low and gathering intel this whole time because she was waiting for the day that, you know, Kinemon and everybody else were to flip in, meet up. So what I gather is she had to have been, you know, just trying to figure out the ins and outs and kind of like the best course of action if any circumstances were to happen from, from just watching it this whole time until the guys actually came back to Wano. So that right there, when she was kind of like um, flipping, um, kind of like had the notebook and with all the notes and stuff, I was like, really, woman? Ain't no regular person going to be doing that. So from then on, I kind of figured she's probably going to be important. This one, Tug, <laughs> is a samurai. Master Hold'em, come in. This is Gazelle Man. Let go of me. I've got the kid from the report, the one who tamed the baboon. Well done. She seems like she could be useful. Bring her here. Yes, sir. Big bro Luffy. Luffy Taro, Solo Jiro, we must charge right in. Up ahead is Bakura, the town of officials and pirates. Let's go. Are you smiling? Captain! We got trouble, Captain! It's Straw Hat and Ro Roronoa. They're, they're heading into Bakura Town. Straw Hats and Wano. Hey, wait! He's going to cause nothing but trouble. Yes, exactly. We've got to stop those idiots. Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> Poor law. Oh my gosh. Next chapter, Bakura Town. The saga of the self-proclaimed Straw Hat Fleet, Volume 43, Bonus Story, No More Pirating, Bellamy is now a master dyer. Also, that was Bellamy we saw in that, um, was, oh, he, he got some, some knots on his head. So Bellamy is now making flags? I thought that was Shane, so it wasn't. Okay. Bakura Town, Kuriwano. Damn it. Sumo event in progress. Scarf, scarf. <clears throat> that Ronin's strange intensity drove me off. But mark my words, I will have Okiku for my bride. <laughs> she shut him down. She was like, uh, no partner. But she did it really politely. She did nice nasty in the beginning. <clears throat> I've got status. I've got fame. I've got safe and high quality food. There's no reason she should turn me down. Stop filling your head with Idiotic worries. What? The woman's from Okebore, okay, right? They're lower class. They can't serve under Shogun Orochi. Choo -choo -choo. Take her by force or burn down her house. Tip -tip. Yo, for a person who look like you do, you have sure got a lot to say. This is a little rat man. Boy, if you don't go somewhere. Oh, he was a mouse. My bad. Kill all her relatives and leave her with nowhere else to go. Make it so her only option to survive is to rely on your generosity. Gifters, mouse mans, mouse smell fruit. You belong to the warrior class. Wano has a strict class system. If the star of the national sport is begging for the favor of the lower class, it sets a poor example for the rest. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. I can do what I please with Okiku. Oh, yo, and I, <laughs> he slapped his butt. <laughs> what you gonna do to her? Eat her? What the fudge, bro? Oh my gosh. And he knocks down the food. Oh, oh, he's not smacking some. He's smacking the food down. I'm gonna say, what the world? <clears throat> Yokozuna, did the taste displease you? I noticed that raccoon dog right there. That has been our pet for, for years and years. I want you to cook it. What? Raccoon dog is my favorite. Yo, that is messed up. I told you I'll cook my dog. Nope. I would act like I took the dang on dog, raccoon dog. 
And I'm like, okay, two minute back. And then probably this up belts and acted like he was a raccoon dog. I ain't killing my dog for you. But I know these people are probably like, you know, suffering under the reign of Orochi and then Kaido to where they probably just feel like they had to. But that's really fucked up that they feel that scared. At a mansion in Bakura town. Very speedy like your reputation. <sighs> so, is that the one gazelle man? Whew, whew. Oh, we're talking about, hold him. Look at gazelle man out of breath. Boy, for you to be a gazelle, why are you so out of breath? The poor thing looks like she's about to burst into tears. Fui, fui. I'm not going to cry. Fui, My side is killing me. Enough out of my sight, gazelle man. Shut up with your panting. Fui, He is out of breath. And build up some stamina for crying out loud. Okay, so he has a freaking, um, uh, what is it, like a cramp, but the cramp is just basically due to him not having enough stamina to keep up and run, is what I'm, what I'm getting. So, this is a question that I have now when it comes to the smiles. I know these, the smiles are not perfect in any shape or way or form of a devil fruit. So, with this, in his case, or maybe in other people's cases, when it comes to the devil fruit properties, you're get you're gonna get a um, power, but is the power itself going to be contained as one thing? But then everything that comes along with it, um, well, you would think will come with it, is it doesn't necessarily transfer over. So you would think a a, a gazelle will have great stamina, right? But it's like since the the smile itself is not perfect and not complete. He's only going to get a portion of um, the attributes of that that devil fruit is what I'm saying. But it's not going to be 100% working properly. Yuck! I wasn't talking to you. Don't look back in my face. <laughs> Why? He's scary. He has a lie on his tummy. <laughs> Just think you have a lion on your your tummy and you're you're having to combat it and fight it that is so odd why not just make friends with the dang on lion what's with that rebellious look <laughs> ah he gotta run in the nuts it's the lion's patent Patented family jewels attack. <laughs> no! <laughs> How many times has he done this? If it's a patented family jewels attack. Like it's patented. What the fudge? Grrr. Yeah, bro. It's gonna affect you too. You're attached to him. You're hitting nuts and shit. And if this is the first time or second time. I guess it's the first time. You probably didn't know no better. But if this is a patented attack. This has to have been done times before, so you should already know the outcome of this. Sir, y'all balls are one. <laughs> but they share the same body, so there are the lion's jewels at the same time. <laughs> Why does he never learn? Master Hold'em, what should we do with the kid? Answer me, girl. How did a child like you tame that baboon? My followers witnessed you do it. I can only assume that you have a real devil fruit powers. Otama, be aware that your ability, while helpful, is also desirable to the enemy. You must not use it in the presence of others. I... I'm just good with animals, I guess. They always like me. But I heard you that you tore off your cheeks. And he giving her the devil look like... Been a lot of me, child. Let's try it out. Hey, bring me my pliers. Yes, sir. Big bro, Luffy. Big bro, help me. Poor Tama. Front gate of Bakura, Kuriwano. Tama! Luffy has his biggest smile on his face. Mm. No, you can't. Please, Luffy Taro, you mustn't say that. Hey, who are you people? Halt! 
All the people here in this town are the courts of the ones who took Tama. I have no record of you leaving the town. Okay, so this is how. Nah. So this is how they have Luffy demonstrating his um his conquest hockey, hockey in the manga. So his ha his eyes are half shaded, and they have the little um lines drawn from his face. And they dart. After they put everybody at night night, they dart in. Huh? Did you do something? Hucky. How do we search for him? Woof woof. That's a huge Komainu. Who is that? Whose is that? Doesn't seem like anyone here would tell us. But some of these look but some of these look like normal people who wouldn't want to fight, right? The villagers here have always lived here. This was a lively castle town originally until twenty years ago. One day, Orochi's henchmen came and seized whatever houses they desired. They left only the merchants handling necessities, and the rest were driven out of town. That's Bakura town for you. Hmm. Ah! Snag. So this is where the sumo man was flying, and then, and then Luke caught him by his drawers. They're doing something farther ahead. Well, a sumo wrestler just came flying at us, so maybe it's sumo. You mean he was thrown all the way here just from the match? He's unstoppable! Is there no way to defeat this man, the champion Yokozuna of the flower city, Urashima? Yeah, Urashima, he's huge! Yokozuna wrestler of Wano Urashima. This is a special bit of public entertainment. A dream prize of 500 gold coins to the one who defeats Urashima. Does anyone here feel confident in their strength? Come on, come all, test your mettle. He's so tough, we can't even set up a betting pool. As many challenges as you want, as long as you can fit within the ring. He's beaten 19 already. All according to plan, that prize is ours. It's like your mind, boy. He threw all y'all asses out that damn ring. Anyways. <clears throat> and out of that total, how many broken bones have we had? Ten arms, fifteen legs, fifty-two ribs, four skulls, and seven spines. That's eighty-eight bones in all, plus four contestants gone missing. His might is simply inhuman. Beat Urashima, you slugs. I put money on you. The undefeated monster Urashima, the Yokozuna. Urashima! Hmm. Take positions. At the ready. Flop! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Look at these ladies Googling all over Urashima. And Okiku is not giving him the time of day because he's trash. It seems as if maybe these women are probably all over him because he is the Okazuna. Um, he is of higher class, so they want a better life for themselves. But, yeah, Okiku says she ain't fucking none of that. But he did. I told you, y'all. He's gonna smack the shit out, y'all. Okiku. <laughs> she's like, oh, no. This nigga saw me. <laughs> That's what she's looking like. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You came to see me after all. Have you made up your mind to be my wife? What? Urashima's wife? Did I hear that right? Urashima has a betrothed in the crowd. That's one lucky lady if the Yokozuna himself has his eye on her. Why, this is an utter scandal. Oh, no. You realize you can't actually hide behind me. That's just what he's saying. Oh, Kiku, we're having a public event in Bakura soon. I'm, I'm going to put on a show, so if you're interested, you should absolutely come see me. Oh, Tama! Hang in there. Oh, Kiku has come to see me. Bring her here, boys. Yes, sir. You're such a player, bro. I look up to you so much. Hey, wait up, you guys. We're looking for someone. 
She's a little kid named Tama. Tell me where to find the boss of this town. She's bound to be there. Oh, I'm so jealous. She's going to snag that hunk. She might be tall, but she's just right for Hiroshima. Eek! Solo, why'd you let him take her away? Didn't seem right to slice up a naked guy. Yo, <laughs> they straight up ignored Luffy and all <laughs> he was saying. <laughs> hey, isn't that girl from the tea house outside? She's not high enough to enter this place. Is that true? Kick her out. She doesn't deserve to be here. Silence, commoners. From the perspective of the warrior class, you're all chattel. Whether any of you live or die is up to me. So come on, Okiku. Come and be mine now. <laughs> oh my gosh. He went from straight up being to oh. This one knows of no person named Chattel. Yo, she was about to go in on, dude. Yes, you go, girl. Ding. Boy, are gone. <laughs> Surely you jest. It is your heart that is truly low. The Yokozuna's top knot. That was sweet. Man, Kiku's awesome. This is starting to get fun now. That should get the boss involved mighty quick. Oh my gosh. Again, um, I really don't see too big of a um, problem here within the anime and the manga. It seems like I was able to get the same feeling when I was watching um, and then this. And compared to the, the anime, it doesn't seem like the pacing was that bad for this particular scene for me so far. All right, next chapter. Chapter 916, Wano Sumo. Oh, everybody's like super shocked. They're looking like, what the actual fuck? Like, that's what they're looking at. Look at Urashima. Not only did that woman reject him, she cut off his top knot. Everybody's talking about, oh, look at Urashima crying. It's not coming out his nose. Look at me glaring. He was pissed. Bro, was pissed. Oh, okay, oh, you betrayed me. Oh, he is infuriated. He looked like he, he had a demon in him, Lord. Okay. How frightful. He's got the face of some demon god. Oh, no. What has this one done in front of so many people? Bam. Please have mercy, sir. Urashima. Uh-oh. I know that stance. It's the far bank slap that sends the target to the afterlife. But in the end, you are no better than a man who would strike a woman. Oh, his eyes glaring. He's like, shut the hell up. You took my hair out. You inferior, low-born woman. Eee! Time for you to die. Go moo, go moo. Sumo slap! <laughs> oh, Luffy wanted to be a sumo man so bad. Ta-da! Whoa! Hold on. Hold on. Hold the flipping door. He's already waving his arms out the ring. Okay. That, had, that, that didn't go as fast. As Hold on. In the anime, it wasn't that quick. Okay, let me keep reading. Maybe there's more to it. Okay, let's go to the next page. Yokozuna! Who is that guy? Hold firm, Yokozuna! Whoa! 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 Grr. You can do it, Luffy Toto! They're still in it! <sighs> Who are you, Tokiku? And what did you just do to my slap? Get out of my way! I've got to smash Okiku to pieces, or my honor is lost. Okay, sure thing if you can beat me. Let's sumo wrestle. Watch out, I'm good at sumo. What? 
sumo wannabe pirate Luffy no Umi. <laughs> Record undefeated versus Usopp. Usopp is not a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> not a good contender, really. Oh my Jesus. Psst. What's wrong with him? He's gonna get killed. Get out of my way. Bodhisattva, slap. Boo boo boo. Hoi hoi. Hoi hoi. Huh? That guy's slippery. He's dodging all of the Urashima slaps. Whoa! Hang in there, little guy. Yo, they're cheering on for Luffy. <laughs> You're not gonna win just by running. Ear splitter! Swoop! Eye splitter! Yo, he got two fingers. <laughs> Man. Okay, what's the... <laughs> Hey, isn't that against the rules? But I can handle it. Boing! Master, hold him! Wah! Some woman cut the Yokozuna's top knot off. Yeah, it's a huge scene. Why are you reporting it to me? What do you expect me to do? I'm too busy to deal with that right now. I gotta rip this kid's cheek off. Ah! It really hurts! Have mercy, have mercy, I'll give the baboon back! Just stop pulling on me. Oh, that pisses me off. See, he's he's literally the lion. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all, the lion is like, like, let me at her. And the dude, like, is holding her. What the hell is wrong with this lion? Like, why can't he just be chill? What the fudge? From what I hear, you dropped the name Kozuki. Don't go chasing ghosts now. The Kozukis are the ones who tried to destroy Wano 20 years ago. The clan of evil spirits. Yo, know, you are just trying your best to, to spread that propaganda, sir. The lies people tell. Um, am I dying, Captain? I warned you not to eat the fish out of the river. Why did you have to do this now? He's got a straw hat around his neck, I expect. Do not engage him. He's far beyond your ability. I'm on my way now. Oh, that's when they started telling where Luffy was at and what was going down. Oh, Jesus. Huh? What's that? Your guess is good as mine. Shut up already. I said you could have. You could do whatever you want. Yeah. I just know you won't be. Won't be able to beat me. Move it, little one. Okiku has committed an unforgivable act. She spurned the offer to marry into the warrior class and shamed me beyond that. I must crack her head open and make an example out of her. How dare you? I am the greatest sumo wrestler of all time. And I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Gomu, gomu, giant sumo slap! Yo, they had this whole page to this sumo slap. I guess it's supposed to be yo, and it's showing Urashima's big ass getting his big old hand. Just look, and yo, when he drew this, freaking, you can see like the fat off of Urashima against Luffy's fingers. That is dope. Yo, little Luffy and his big old hand literally in, encasing Urashima. Okay. Oh, and the force from that slab is like literally pushing everybody's faces in themselves. So some got flat faces on the side. Yo. Y'all, have y'all ever got snacks? It doesn't have to be in the face or anything. But, but like, you know, your heart, your arm or whatever. And it hurt like hell. Just think, that had to have hurt Urashima like a hundred times more than that. Because this hit is like freaking Woofing everything. Whoa! Yokozuna! Urashima got completely demolished. Yeah. Urashima went through all them damn buildings. It can't be. He would never lose to that shrimpy guy. Yikes! What? It's, it's, it's him! It's the guy who sliced up the magistrate! 
Oh, so much you know. Yeah, so what? Don't tell me he's on in this too, with that tough swordsman and the sumo kid. Who are these people? Hey, go and get the boss of this town. We're here to take Tama back. Ah, watch out. The rebel brigands, fight them off. Tama's the kid that Master Holdem's got. Take her back if you can. What should this one do? Don't play coy. You don't need my help. <laughs> Yo, why is she acting like that towards Zoro? Like, she's trying to hold back her laughter, like, you right, how you see me? <laughs> That's how she's looking. Get out here right now! Should, should we fight? Cut him up! If you actually want to save the kid. Yes. She must be saved. Dwa. Just hang on, Otama. If you don't bring him out soon, we're gonna wipe all of you out. Yeah! Zoro is slicing up everybody from left to right, front and back. What's your boss's name? Baldambu. Get out here, Baldambu! <laughs> I thought that was the most funniest name that Luke could ever came up with from that to do so. If you even touch Tama, you're gonna get it. Look out, there's a fire. Call the firefighters. I'm right here, boy. Yo, this is happening faster. Like, let me go back real quick. When... Okay, so in the manga, we don't necessarily see Urashima getting sent through Hold'em's um, house or whatever and taking him out. We don't see none of that. It just continues to go, you know, with the whole Luffy and Urashima fight and then the whole, you know, after um, fighting with the, the Beast Pirates. And my name is Hold'em. See, this actually transpired a lot quicker here than I can say it did in the anime. You can tell, like, out of this, this situation right here, in the anime, it was a lot more fighting, a lot of going back and forth, a lot of going, you know, seeing Okiku fight, seeing Zoro fight, and then seeing Luffy, you know, hitting people and stuff. But here, it's like they had their own one-time encounters with fighting, and then it went, boom, Hold'em's arrived. Okay, next up. Master Hold'em! So you decide to show yourself. I didn't have much of a choice. You sumo wrestled my house to the ground. Oh, and look at little Tama in the freaking lion's mouth. Girl. Big bro! Tama! Oh, Tama! Urashima came flying out of nowhere and demolished my building. Who are you people and where did you come from? First of all, if you a beast pirate and you don't know who Luffy is, I mean, yes, they got different clothes on, but you can definitely look at him and see who he is if you're from, you know, outside of Wano, but whatever. And then we see um, that, okay, so in the anime, they force showed Urashima flying into Holden's house, but in the anime, they held off, or in the manga, they held off until Holden popped up. So I kind of, um, I think actually them waiting in the manga could have, is probably the better thing because then we're probably like, okay, what happened to Urashima? And then it will make more, more sense seeing it this go around because I think they showed it a couple times. Like they, they showed it, yeah, and the first time when we, he knocked Urashima and then the second time when Hold'em came out in the anime. So I feel as if showing it twice was kind of redundant and it was just taking up space and time. So I do think the how they did in the manga was probably better in the case. Or if they didn't show it in the beginning, like uh, after the fight that he sent Urashima flying, then that would have been cool. And then they didn't really necessarily didn't have to show it again because we just seen it. If you're bold enough to fight back against us, then I assume you must be followers of the thief named Shuten Maru. It sounds like you want this kid back. Yo, 
Tom is in his mouth, and this lion is like slobbering, slobber down his dang on jaw. That is nasty. Well, don't move. I can crush her in my jaws at any moment. Big bro, his tummy's a lion? Master Hold'em is, I'm nearly there. Bakura is just ahead of us. Captain Hawkins is at the gate, and there's a fire in town. Huh? Yo, poor law. <laughs> Bibin. Don't leave me behind, Captain. I'm gonna save you now, Tama. I have no intention of giving her back, you fool. So that was Beppo that says, don't leave me behind, Captain, with his little bubble goods. All right. So that is going to conclude this read through. I think we did four chapters. I believe we did because I didn't. Yeah. 13, 14, 15, and 16. So yeah, from these also, I mean, it wasn't bad. Like when I'm just thinking about comparing these episodes um, from the anime to the manga, it wasn't bad. There were a few critiques that I can say, like the whole Urashima fight while reading in the anime, well not reading the anime, reading the manga and comparing to the anime, the fight between Urashima and Luffy was significantly, significantly shorter and to the point. Um, before, you know, we saw a lot of going back and forth with Urashima and Luffy in the anime, and which was okay, but it did get to a point when uh, I was watching it's like, okay, how many more slaps and how many of this, how long are we going to keep doing this for? When we all knew at a moment, it was just going to kind of like end up with Luffy slapping the shit out of Urashima. And um, it did take a while to get there in the anime. But here, I feel like the pacing was a little bit better or a lot of bit better. And it just went to the point, like, we saw them like doing that whole part where they're like this. Literally in the anime, it, I swear, it took like a minute of them just doing this. But the scene was just this the whole time. And that was kind of annoying because it's like, okay, like how many times, how long can a person do that and not fall out the ring? Like, come on now, y'all bounce back. And here they did for a little bit, bounce back. And that was it. And then smack. But yeah. But again, watching the anime was still fun. And um, it was just a few things so far out of those four chapters that I saw. I have to actually look back to see how long and how many episodes did the, um, the fight with Urashima and Luffy go on for. And then the whole hold them introduction i'll probably have to look back and see how many episodes that lasted but again this was a good um read it was kind of quick when you think about it because we went from um going against freaking hawkins to the fight with urashima and hold them in just four chapters when you think about it which is not a long time yes it's probably been a long time because i've been reading and i've been talking and all that good stuff but compared to um the anime i know that had to have been a significantly many episodes difference to the chapters so i can't understand why some of the manga readers was like okay like this is just dragged out like this is four chapters and then everything is kind of like spacing out for you know so many episodes so i kind of understand but me seeing the anime first i'm not too pressed about it so far um of course like i said there are a couple of things that i'm like yeah that was kind of drawn out and i do prefer the manga to those certain um issues that i said but yeah this is really cool. I'm kind of glad you guys had, you know, talked to, talked me into or kind of like going with my gut of reading um, the arc of Wano as I'm watching it. Um, again, you guys, I am not going to go past where I am in the anime. I'm going to stop. I think Paul said stop at 924. So um, it, I think he said 924 is where I should like stop reading which is not that many more um, chapters at all. So we'll see how this goes. I'll probably have to figure out how I'm going to break them down. But yeah, thank you guys for actually in watching these videos and liking them, especially with my funny voices. I do that so much for myself as it's entertaining and it kind of puts you in the headspace of the characters. I know some people don't like it. But for me, I it's kind of like second nature just to go ahead and do it. Kind of helps separate the characters as I'm reading. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next manga reading.